third Berlin vlog. Berlin is getting very cold. It's getting dark early. It's very rainy today. Um, you know, everyone's having a great time. You know, all the beer, donor. Wait, Ben, I think I'm in the vlo wrong vlog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, please get out of here. Thanks. Go back to London. So before we start, here's a quick message from Steven. Hey, everyone. So I guess you're probably wondering why I didn't put out a vlog this month. And the reason for that is, as much as I enjoy entertaining you with my vlogs, and as much as I appreciate your lovely comments uh, about the vlogs, unfortunately, it has been very taxing on me, both physically and mentally. So I have decided to put this on hold for the foreseeable future. And maybe one day I will be able to entertain you with my vlogs again. Thank you for being with me along this journey. But all right, let's get on with the vlog. Okay, so this is exciting for me. I'm trying something new with the vlogs where instead of making a video diary, I'm doing an interview-like thing. You'll see. But please let me know what you guys think about this style of vlog. And if you guys like it, I'll continue doing stuff like this. If not, we can try something new. But yeah, enjoy the vlog. Hi. Hello. Um, so please introduce yourselves. Shmika. I speak for myself. Uh, I'm Anu Mohan. I'm from India. I'm Francis. I was born and raised in the States, but my family was in Korea right now, so I'm from Korea now. My name is Precious, and I'm from Nigeria. Hi, I'm Mikaela. I'm from Uruguay. I'm Alex, and I'm from Puerto Rico. My name is Clara. I'm from Sweden. I am 21 years old, I don't know. You were at Bella's Halloween party. What were you again? Were you? I was obviously a pirate. But I heard Alex had a great costume. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So he was with this, his roommate was famous. Who the fuck is roommate? And had Rolly. It's okay, we have a clip. Just roll the clip. JK Rowling. Yeah. Oh yeah, and tell me about Friendsgiving. What did you guys think? I really like Friendsgiving. Yes. It was fun to see everyone together. I, I don't think after San Francisco everyone has been like together or everyone gets to see each other a lot. And then people performed singing. Well, the idea of oh, am I getting too near? Don't try. Last Friendsgiving was with 2019. It was the yeah. first one since San Francisco that we had by ourselves. The roof was super cool too. The only roof we get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does 2021 have a roof? Yeah. Oh my serious. god. <laughs> Are you serious? That's because they own the freaking building, right? Yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Three months into the semester now. How is life? <sighs> <laughs> well, the past two weeks have been really rough. Um, I'm not gonna say that I cried at several occasions, but I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to say I didn't. I'm having a very chill semester, kind of. It's just really cold, and it's like harder to go out now. Well, Mika has some updates. Isn't Have you met any locals in Berlin? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people are nice. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the bulk of the stressful part has just mm -hmm. passed. Like I had last weekend three assignments due on the same day, and I was Honestly. like, oh. ah. but that's over now, so it's chill again. Uh, how, how, how do you meet the locals? Uh, you just um go to like. <laughs> how do you think about Berlin? My heart is here. I do love the city. I want to live. I want to die in Berlin. It's one of my favorite cities to where. Amongst the cities we've gone so far, because I actually go out at least once, which is new. It really vibes with me, I think. In Berlin, there are so many different people, so many different opinions, so many different houses. There's like history, and there's trash, but also really nice things. I love 
going to clubs. I've been to so many clubs, so many techno clubs, which are amazing. Do you miss anything about any of the past cities? I miss everything about Seoul. Minus the cold. I miss the warmth of Hyderabad. Price baguette, the gimbap store like beside our former res hall. I miss the cheap food. I don't miss the food poisonings I had. I miss the cleanliness of Korea. I miss bibimbap. No brand pasta sauce. You should try no brand pasta sauce. It's amazing. I miss duck albi. I don't really miss San Francisco. Are you excited about any of the future cities? And what about? I think one of the city I have been most excited for. I'm very excited for like Latino culture. I have like lots of friend back, friends back home that are in London. If you were to give any advice to underclassmen, what would it be? Don't date at Minerva. What? <laughs> <laughs> Make time for personal projects. Find out somehow how to op a way to optimize your Minerva academic stuff so that you can spend as little time on it as possible. Uh, talk to people. Oh God, do talk to people. You will be amazed at the students that you have around you. Then you can have a lot more time to pursue things you actually want to do. Are you assuming that school isn't what you want to do? School is very important. We all <laughs> want to be here. Enjoy life a little. I think you should like take advantage of where you are and like realize that not in like a bad way, but this is not going to happen again. I'd say sleep. During like when, when the time gets closer to finals, most people start neglecting sleep and like personal self-care. Try not to do that. Try to challenge yourself to make new friends. The more years that go on, like the more you stick to like your core group of friends. Like me and you weren't friends up until like, oh, like we were like, oh, we randomly decided to room together. And like, now look at us. JK Rowling. Yeah. And do you have any questions for our upperclassmen? <laughs> How are you guys dealing with your capstone? What are your capstones? How's capstone going? What the hell are they? And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And yo, Kai, how's it going in London?